stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to Lions News for March 15th, 2019. This broadcast is coming to you from the photo video studio in the high school. The annual Teacher First Student Lip Sync Battle is around the corner. If you are looking to participate in a night full of fun and support for the class of 2021, please sign up outside room 105 or 234. There will be a general interest meeting for those who are looking to participate on Thursday, March 21st. The battle will be held Wednesday, March 27th at 7 p.m. Any questions, please see Ms. Fruzzi, Ms. Wisenseal, or a class officer. Please put your bottles that can be returned for five cents out in the hallway at this time. Any other bottles that cannot be returned for a refund should not be placed in the collection box. Please do not place any bottles with liquid into the box as we cannot return them that way and they add a lot of weight. Thank you for your cooperation. Helping Hands Spring Drive will be held Monday, April 15th at the Union Boulevard West Isa Fire Department from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. Please consider making a basket or bag with a spring or Easter theme with some candy and treats. Your help is needed and will make a child very happy. The Science Honor Society is hosting Mrs. Mary Kroll on Wednesday, March 20th in room 239. Mrs. Kroll will be presenting Illuminate Your Classroom using the National Synchron Light Source 2. All staff, science, honor society members, and prospective members are invited to attend. The women of West Islip are now accepting applications for their yearly scholarships. It is awarded to graduating girls who have gone above and beyond in the area of volunteerism and community service. If you meet the criteria, we encourage you to apply. Applications can be picked up in guidance or found on WOW website. Deadline is Friday, May 3rd. Today is a blue day. Really great day. <laughs> On April 22nd, 1970, 20 million Americans took to the streets, parks, and auditoriums to demonstrate for a healthy, sustainable environment in massive coast to coast rallies. The first Earth Day's purpose was to encourage people to take action and force the government to recognize environmental concerns on a national level. This is now an annual holiday but focuses more on the concerns for global warming and clean energy. You can walk or ride a bike someplace instead of driving, start recycling at home, or go on a walk on the beach picking up litter. If you really want to learn more ways or how to really take action, visit earthday.org or visit our own environmental club. Go hug a tree, West Islip. Each year, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on March 17th. The Irish began honoring this religious holiday after the death of St. Patrick, the patron saint and national apostle of Ireland. St. Patrick's is also credited with introducing Christianity to the country. The first St. Patrick's Day parade later took place in 1972. Irish soldiers brought St. Patrick's Day celebrations to the United States as they marched through New York City to pay respect to their roots. The Adams Family is a musical comedy with music and lyrics by Andrew Lippa and the book by Marshall Brickman and Rick Ellis. The Adams Family is based upon the Adams Family characters created by Charles Adams in his single panel gag cartoons, which depict a ghoulish American family with infinity for all things macabre. Their house is a museum when people come to see Join the Adams family as they struggle to deal with the complications of growing up and letting love into their miserable hearts. Join us for a nor one normal night on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at 7.30 and March 23rd at 6 o'clock. Tickets are $12 on my school bucks or $15 at the door. 